Secretary of State Antony Blinken, right now he joins us live in the studio. Do you think this can be contained? Uh, I do, and it needs to be contained. Um, we're working to prevent escalation. We're working to make sure this doesn't get into a full-scale war. Look, Israel has a very legitimate problem it has to solve. Uh, right after the horrific events of October 7th, Hezbollah in the north from Lebanon started lobbing rockets into Israel. Uh, the people who lived in northern Israel had to flee their homes. Uh, homes were destroyed, villages were destroyed, about 70,000 Israelis. Israel started responding. You have uh, Lebanese in southern Lebanon who have also had to flee their homes. We want to see people get back to their homes. The best way to do that is through a diplomatic agreement, pulls the forces back, creates space and security so that people can get back to their homes, kids can get back to school. That's what we're working on. Do you have any objections to the way Israel is prosecuting the war right now? Look, you've got uh, a group in Hezbollah that's a designated terrorist organization. Back in 2000, Israel got out of southern Lebanon, which it had been uh, occupying. All of these groups, including Hezbollah, were supposed to put down their weapons. Hezbollah didn't do it. It attacked Israel repeatedly in the ensuing years. It created insecurity in, in northern Israel. And then since October 7th, it's really ramped that up. So this is a, an important problem to solve, get people back to their homes. But the best way to do it, George, is through diplomacy. If there were a full-scale war, and we've managed to avert one till now. We've had a number of times since October 7th where we seem to be on the verge of it. Deterrence, diplomacy by the United States prevented that from happening. But if there were to be a, a full-scale war, that wouldn't solve the problem. It wouldn't get people back to their homes. Let's talk about Ukraine and Russia right now. President Zelensky is going to be visiting the White House tomorrow, visiting President mm -hmm. Biden tomorrow. He has what he's calling a victory plan. He's going to unfold yeah. that uh, tomorrow. He wants permission to strike deeper inside Russia. Will he get it? So I was in Kiev a couple of uh, weeks ago with President Zelensky. I heard parts of this plan, but he's going to present the entire plan to President Biden when he sees him this week, and we're uh, awaiting that. Uh, look, every step along the way since before the Russian invasion, we've tried to make sure that Ukraine had what it needed, when it needed it, to defend against Russian aggression. We got them uh, stingers, javelins before the Russian aggression because we saw it coming. That prevented the, the takeover of the country, the erasing of Ukraine from the map. The Ukrainians were able to repel the Russians, push them back. Every day since, we've been working to adapt and adjust depending on the battlefield needs. What does Ukraine need in any given moment? We'll continue to do that. What about striking inside Russia? Look, we're looking at how we can make sure that Ukraine is most effective in deterring and dealing with this Russian aggression. And they have extraordinary means at their uh, disposal, starting with their own resilience. We're going to make sure that they have what they need to succeed. Yesterday, former President Trump expressed serious doubts about Ukraine's ability to win this war. He also praised Russia's military, saying they beat Hitler, they beat Napoleon. Do you have doubts about Ukraine's ability to win this war? No, I don't, George. And in fact, to the contrary, remember what Putin tried to do. He tried to come in and erase Ukraine from the map. He's failed in that. That is not going to succeed. Uh, the challenge now is to make sure that Ukraine can be a strong, uh, independent country that stands up militarily, economically, democratically. We're working to ensure that, and not just us, more than 50 countries. Look, and this matters. It matters to the United States. It's not just about Ukraine. We're here in New York for this U.N. General Assembly. The U.N. was created after two world wars to make sure there wouldn't be another. And one of the things that it did was it got countries together and say, to say their basic rules of the road. One country can't simply attack another, uh, redraw its borders by force, dictate to another country its future, its decisions. That's what's going on in, in Ukraine. And if we allow that to happen with impunity, if we allow those basic principles, those basic rules to be violated, then it's open season. Would-be aggressors everywhere will say, hey, we can get away with it, too. That's a world full of conflict, not a good world for the United States. That's why, with so many other countries, we've been working to help Ukraine not only defend itself, but defend these principles that are at the heart of the international system. Secretary Blinken, thanks, as always, for your time. Thanks, George. President Biden sits down exclusively with the host of The View this morning. That's at 11 Eastern, right here on ABC.